I'm not one of these YouTubers that believes in test plots in the lawn to try chemicals or nutrients. Because why? Why would you waste the money if you're not sure it's going to work? There's enough research out there. It's 2023. Figure it out, right? So what we're doing today is AC Delco diesel exhaust fluid. And the reason why I'm not doing a test plot, I'm just going to put it down is because I actually just learned this. What's in it? Water and urea. Urea is pretty much synthetic nitrogen, um, urine. So we're going to put it in. I got a two gallon sprayer here. Um, I read somewhere 12 ounces per uh, per gallon. This is two ounces or whatever. So I did about 16, between 16 and 20 um, fluid ounces. We're just going to spray it on the lawn. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like first, and then I'll show you what it looks like in a couple of days. But this is what it looks like right now. It was just like nine, 10 inches long, and I just mowed it. Um, so, so it's not looking as good. Check out the stripes though, huh? What do you know? Don't mind that spot right there. See, this is the Bermuda grass. You can tell what I like better. And I'm working full time. I don't have time to be, you know, doing all this crazy stuff to my lawn. I fertilize and I mow. That's it. So let that be a lesson to what stands up better. Unless you got money to dump on a service, go with Bermuda grass. All right, let's spray. And this is a foliar application too. So you don't need to put out a super high rate of water. You just need to hit the leaves, even hit your flowers if you want. After we do this, we're gonna let it sit for a while, let it dry, and then we'll water it. But some people will say not to do this on a fresh mow. But like I said, guys, I don't do test plots. I just do what I know works. But here we go, guys. All right, guys, so it's been about three weeks since I put down the AC Delco diesel exhaust fluid. And I probably should have done a, a, a follow-up a little bit sooner on my yard, but it did work, all right? It did work. Now, before I show you it, I'm gonna tell you that this diesel exhaust fluid is not like a, a full, like 10, 10, 10. It's not a full spectrum fertilizer. So all it has is nitrogen in it. Um, so you'll get a green up, but you're not gonna get a green up like iron, right? Like pure iron that really like deepens the color of the green. Um, I let my lawn, you know, it's Bermuda grass. I let my lawn get a little bit too long before we mowed it. So you're going to see a lot of brown, but, um, when it was longer, I'll show you right now. When it was longer, it looked, uh, much greener. All right. So this is Tiff way 419. You know, it's still about five inches long, four inches. Um, so it looks like a hay field, but I'm going to start mowing this a little bit shorter um, but what I'm going to put down now is um, the professional Sunnyland crabgrass preventer. And what it also has in it that I have not put down this year is uh, potassium, potash. So this whole bag treats up to 20,000 square foot. So I got to do some math on that and put that down. And then for the full fertilizer, I'm going to put down the Sunnyland 24011. So that's gonna be a good shot of potassium to help with that drought tolerance because we didn't get rain here for a long time, like a long time. And I, I'm telling you guys, I haven't done much to this at all. I've literally mowed it like maybe 15 times this summer. Um, and you're supposed to mow this stuff like every four days, you know, five days, seven days max. So yeah, it looks like crap now, but I'm gonna do another follow-up after applying this crabgrass pre-emergent and that professional nitrogen and potash, excuse me. Now, the reason why I need to do the crabgrass and weed preventer is because this lawn, before we moved in, was nothing but weeds. You know, nothing but weeds. And the St. Augustine grass, just, it can't handle it. If you look at my neighbor's yards, they're really nice St. Augustine grass, but I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't wanna have somebody else come here and do my, my lawn care, all right? Because if I had it my way, all of this would be Bermuda grass. But before we get in anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my spreader and I'm gonna put this stuff down, all right? So to answer your question, does diesel exhaust fluid work well for lawns or is it worth it? Um, if you go online and you actually look at the strength of it and you figure out how much nitrogen you're getting per 
you know, one or two gallons of, of spray per thousand square foot. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty cheap. I think my life doesn't really, sometimes I, maybe I should have waited to do this video because I'm not really able to give you a very clear shot of what it looked like um, before and after because I kind of mowed my lawn and let Bermuda grass get too tall. But I can tell you right now that it does work. Is it worth it? Yeah. If you look, if you just want to add some nitrogen or mix it with some other things that are singular ingredients, yeah, it works. Um, but hey guys, check it out. I got a exciting video coming up. You know, we do a lot of tree work and um, landscaping and pruning and things like that. Company reached out to me, gave me a free chainsaw, like a little handheld, you know, little ones electric that you see. And I'm gonna be posting a review on that very soon. If you wanna see it, go ahead and hit subscribe and you'll see that coming up very shortly. But anyways, I gotta get inside. I'm off work early today. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.